Hi there, my name is Ibrahim Hussain, head of ETFs at Computershare. Welcome to the first video of our ETF Insight series. Exchange traded funds or ETFs are stocks like any other stocks that can be traded on the secondary market. But the main difference between an ETF and other stocks is that a unit of ETF normally would represent a basket of securities. Uh, which could be shares or currencies or any other asset class. And the benefit of having an ETF is that through that single transaction, you would have diversification benefits. And the other benefit of investing in ETF is that uh, you would also reduce your transaction cost because you don't have to buy the underlying securities independently. ETFs have uh, evolved significantly uh, in the last 15 to 18 years. Uh, when I go back 15 years you know, ago, what you would see in a typical ETF register would be about 75% of the register would be made up of, um, of self-managed super funds and the rest would be you know, institutional investors and very small percentage used to be retail investors. Um, that scale has kind of changed at the moment. So if you look at any Typical ETF register, what you would see is in terms of holder numbers, is top heavy um, or made up of uh, free retail investors, uh, which speaks volume about how the, the product has evolved in the last uh, decade or so. Uh, the drivers behind this evolution, uh, in my opinion, I think driven by the fact that the products are very accessible and also uh, Retail investors, your mom and dad investors are a lot aware of what ETFs are because of all the work that ETFs issuers have done in educating the masses. And also what we've seen is the, the emergence of retail trading platforms. Um, so they, the accessibility to the product is, is, is much better today. We've also seen a lot of issuers actually having their own in-house um, retail investment platforms, which um, is a recognition that this uh, segment, this demographic segment is growing uh, significantly. Uh, statistically, when we look at our data going back three, three and a half years ago, the retail investor portion has grown by about 230%. So that's going back to around March 2020, which is just a significant growth compared to other, other segments. Um, but what, what we are seeing in terms of behavior uh, for this retail investor segment is that uh, the churn rate is a lot higher than what you would expect. So by year three, about 21% of these retail holders will churn. And they, on average, retail investors tend to stay in the, uh, in the register or invest in ETFs for about um, 787 days, which is also an interesting statistic to, to look at. So what that tells us is that uh, retail investors, whilst they believe in the product and they're investing in ETFs, they're also a little bit more susceptible to cyclical uh, volatilities uh, or any geopolitical sort of impacts. The Australian stock market is very unique compared to the rest of the world. Uh, in a sense that um, issuers in Australia have direct access to the retail investors through their registry and as such uh, provides amazing uh, opportunities for, for issuers to really connect with their investors uh, through their registries. So as the leading provider of ETFs in Australia, uh, we are a conduit between our issuers and their ETF investors uh, and we have done a lot of work uh, to um, help our issuers connect and build longer sticky relationship with the investors. Mm -hmm.